Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Kenshi, episode 43 with our skeleton-only playthrough. We left off last time. We were outside Blister Hill with the main force, but we aren't ready to attack Blister Hill just yet. We're getting very close to that. But uh, I had to send the army down to the outpost here to defend against an attack. Nothing crazy, just a group of bandits that came uh, to attack us. Oh, meanwhile, the God Squad here finds himself north in Flot Sam Village. I did want to say thank you all to um, the people who left comments telling me about the High Inquisitor and pointing them out where they were in the video. I can't believe I completely missed it. Either way, I went back with the God Squad and picked them up. So we got High Inquisitor Veltina here. We're about to turn them into the Flot Sam Ninjas. I know there were some suggestions on whether or not we turn them into the Flot Sam Ninjas or into the Shack. But I decided to do the Flot Sam Ninjas because the Shek have stack and bad teeth. And I'm kind of curious if I turn these guys into the Flot Sam Ninjas if like something will happen with Okran Shield or whatnot. I'm hoping to get like some more roaming groups of Flot Sam Ninjas walking around. Because it seems like right now that the Shek have kind of lost steam with attacking the Holy Nation. So I thought maybe if we got the Flot Sam Ninjas in the area, we'd be able to get some help with some of these attacks. But who knows uh, how this is going to play out. I also got two more Inquisitors here with me, but I don't know if that's going to get me anything. I'm going to turn them in just to see if something happens. Uh, they don't have a bounty, so I don't think that anything's going to happen. Maybe I'll just drop them off here and watch them get beat up by the Flotsam Ninjas. That'll be pretty funny, too. Let's see. The Inquisitors are officially out of the Holy Nation. This is it, Yamba. The Phoenix oppression is finally over, and he's quaking in his holy boots. We're coming for him. We're ready to take back Blister Hill. When you're ready to attack the Phoenix, talk to my ninjas. Well, hold on, though. I've got High Inquisitor Valencia here. Don't you want that person? All right, well, I can collect the bounty on that at least. So these High Inquisitors here, I don't have anything to do with besides put them in here and have them be, uh, have them be giant pincushions for the Flot Sam Ninjas. But let me first turn this Inquisitor in for the bounty. I don't even know what sh uh, how much it is. Oh, is there not even a bounty here? Well, let's, let's uh, see what happens. She rub her hands together. Well, well, well. Who have we got here then? One of the High Inquisitors, eh? And which one might this be? Seta or Valentina? All rats look the same to me. I thought he might come in useful to you. Hand over. Oh, ho, he sure will. Once I've gleaned the info I need from him, Flossam will finally have the upper hand. Gonna sing like a burr for me when I'm done with you, Inquisitor. We ready now to take down star talk to my ninjas. So, yeah, I am ready to take down the next target. You keep giving me these notes, but they don't seem to do a whole lot for me. Either way, we've now turned in High Inquisitor Valencia, which we did have a 40,000 bounty for. I don't know if we're getting the bounty for that, actually. I feel like I didn't get anything. So can I not talk to you again? So, yeah, talk to your ninjas, but that's the problem. None of them want to talk to me. All right, let's go drop these Inquisitors off. This will be kind of a, uh, funny and enjoyable. I don't want to be carrying them around, so. I'd rather just drop them off and be done with them. Here you guys go. Have fun. Oh, okay. Well, that, simple. Wait, is he dead? He's unconscious. But this one's not unconscious, is he? No, he's not. Oh, they just instantly go unconscious? This, this guy's going to wake up here in a second. Wait, wait, wait. I want to see what happens. Oh, dang it. I was hoping that they would fight back. Oh, look it. They actually are. That's kind of what I wanted to see. Wait, even Mal's like super into it. Well, that Inquisitor is actually a lot more tough than these uh, Flat Sam Ninjas, but the they're not gonna he's not gonna beat the amount of them there are. I could get involved, but I'll just stand back and watch. It's much more enjoyable that way. Hey, the second Inquisitor got involved too. They're gonna go down. Turrets are not helping. How good is Mal? 
pretty damn good. 132 dodge. Ooh, all right, so beautiful. Nice. So what's that do for Okran's shield? I'll have to send somebody over and take a look. I didn't see any of the I didn't see the other inquisitor, so I don't know. I don't know what that's all about. I only saw the one that I went back to grab, and I did look around some more. But uh either way, the goal now is gonna be, believe it or not, we've got two goals, major goals during this episode, and one of them is to head up to World's End. I need to get some more weapons for my crew. We're actually missing... Missing a good amount of weapons. A lot of our guys in Scale Team 6 and Strike Force Air don't have weapons. The main weapons I'm looking for are going to be... Uh, katanas and sabers. They're the two things I don't have. I have plenty of heavy weapons and I even have plenty of pole arms. I just don't have any katanas or sabers. I have hackers too. So I figure we'll go up. We'll get some katanas and sabers. It'll be nice. We'll be able to re-equip the people who lost their weapons during the Battle of Okran Shield. And then we'll be ready to do the battle for Blister Hill. Uh, the one thing I did want to do that I thought would be really fun is I wanted to try and take out the Armor King and his Thrails. I know that he doesn't produce armor anymore when you do that, but I still think it'd be fun to have him in our army. We could probably recruit him uh, with the mod. So. So many skeletons at World's End. Like, you could just come up here and recruit skeletons all day long. There's so many of them. So many people in general. I don't understand why World's End is such a busy city and none of the other ones are. But I guess it's just the nature of it. All right, Atlas, yes, but let me grab me. Because I'm going to do a little bit of thieving to get some katanas and sabers. So here we go. We got a ninja blade. I'll take that. Uh, the triangle horn is pretty nice. So I'll take it just to have it. Any other weapons I want are probably going to be in here. All right. We got another ninja blade. Any type of katanas I can get. That's a katana, so I'll take it. That's another katana. Let's see. Is there anything else here? The Odachis. A falling sun, which I guess are pretty good. But let's get the Odachis here. All right. And give me that one. And give me that. And then I'm sure there's a good weapon in here. Meanwhile, we'll want to get some armor as well. This makes me happy, though, to have all of this. Oh, I also wanted to show you guys something I grabbed up. Let me... There we go. Atlas here has a brand new weapon. He's got himself a cross pole arm, just like HK-47. It's a Mia 2 weapon or whatever you call them. Same with his Holy Cross here. Hmm. Got this off the High Inquisitor, so. Pretty awesome weapon. Atlas is now a um, badass with it. He's got 89 pole arms, so he's just been going around slaying people. It's been pretty beautiful, actually. All right. Let's see what we got in here. Usually the good weapons are in here. And sure enough, there is some pretty good weapons in here. That's an iron club. Okay. Let me get Atlas in here because he's actually got the... 
ability to take a lot of this stuff. There you go. I'll go ahead and lockpick this real quick. All right, just prints. They're worth a decent amount. Just take them. I'm not really at the point where money's a huge issue. But. Trade with the Kumo. Throw those in there. That's actually his weapons. All right, so now we got some katanas. That's good. Um, I guess we could trade and buy some more katanas. Oh, he actually won't let me trade with him. So he actually knows that I've steal, uh, stolen from him. It's unfortunate. I would have bought a couple. I figure steal a bunch, then buy a bunch, right? Does this guy know I'm a thief? Nope. So I could buy more armor. I know we're definitely hurting for armor. Take these. But if I don't buy, I'd have to steal. And stealing from here can be a pain. Because everything I want to steal is right behind the counter. Um, I need more bolts as well. Is that all I've got though? Is the only weapons I really need? There's armor down here too. I don't know if I've been in that armor place. I keep I always come to this one. Let me see what it would be like to loot this one. We've got a broken skeleton with us as well that we're gonna recruit. I picked him up a ways back. He's somebody's carrying him here. I don't remember who. Oh, right there, Big Hoss has him. So he's got this broken skeleton on him. That needs to be I can't click on him. But he's there. He needs to be dealt with too. So. At some point we'll do that. There's no shopkeeper in here. Uh, a lot of this is headgear though. And it's not really very good headgear. Oh, sweet. Okay, let's see what we got here. More headgear. So maybe that's all this is. Place full of headgear. Yeah, wow, well, nothing in that safe. Uh. Okay. Print's probably not even worth it, really. Just throw all that in Kumo. Well, I did get a decent amount of dachis and stuff from it. So I guess it is what it is. Let's go ahead and grab up Legend then. We'll get everybody to follow him. And then after that, I guess we're going to go for the Armor King. So like I said, I'm thinking about, and this could be a really bad idea, but I'm thinking about taking on the Armor King. I thought maybe we could capture him in some of his thralls and recruit him. I don't know if that's going to work. I don't see why you can't. I think the Recruitable Prisoners mod pretty much lets you recruit anybody you want. So we should be able to. The rest of the army here, I'll let these guys head off to start heading to the Armor King. I don't even know if the God Squad's enough to handle there, but we'll, we'll take a look when we get to the location. But yeah, the rest of the group here is almost ready to go. So we might as well just march these guys back up the Blister Hill. Um, wow, that's a huge group of hung hungry bandits. Yeah, we can send these guys back up the Blister Hill. There's nothing else here for them, and they can equip their weapons up at Blister Hill. You know, I'll send Tarkus and his squad up there. Uh, and the shooty skeletals, maybe not. What's going on? Hungry Bandits got in here somehow. So maybe I'll leave Strike Force Error here so they can keep doing some defending. 
Because we keep getting attacked anyways. Bunch of dead Flot Sam Ninjas here. From the previous assault I had. Uh, and the one thing we need is bolts. Nobody in the shooty skeleton squad has bolts. Like, not a single person. Oh, Kumo, no. You keep falling, Legend. Good, they're almost there. So, I need to, I need to be making bolt, bolts. I was actually going to have Duke do that. Set him on arrow making here. Just making regular bolts for our squad. Hopefully we can get them geared up. Alright, let's head back to the God Squad. These guys can handle everything that's going on down here. But these guys are almost ready to go. So the Armor King is guarded by a bunch of Thrails and a bunch of security spider bots. They're very high level. I think the bots are... Um, somewhere in the range of 100 plus. Some of them are like 120 plus. The Thrails, I think, are like 100 to 120 plus. The Armor King himself is not very good, but I think he has a really good weapon. So, I'll take a look when I get there and see if it's even something. If it's even something I want to handle. I might not even try this if I think that we can't pull it off. I know if we had the whole army here, we could do it. Because we, we would get them with numbers. What concerns me with the God Squad is that we just won't have the power. Um, I think that the security spider bots are going to give us a run for our money. Ah, I, I wish you just stick to the water. It keeps throwing Kumo off here. Also, you got to be careful with the water uh, going through the water here with a group of people. I ended up getting most of my army caught up on one of these buildings over here and I had to re reload like a previous save point and mess with a bunch of stuff off camera. It really sucked. Like I was trying to get up here originally coming through here to get to the, um, get to the Fossam Ninjas. Yeah, they got stuck like inside this building and I could not get them out. So I had to completely reload to a previous save point which is super early and really messed up my scheduling. Um... So it kind of sucked. So definitely be careful. All right. Let me grab up me real quick. So about we're going to run inside and take a look. So this is what we're up against. Security spider twos. They've got 350 oil. Uh, their leg and head armor is actually fairly low, which is good. But there's a lot of them. There's one, two, three, four. Uh, just at the front entrance, they've got really good dexterity. I mean, they got really good stats in general. The Armor King himself actually isn't that. I mean, he's tough, but he's not, you know. I mean, the security spiders are significantly tougher. There's four there, five behind him, and six up there. So six security spiders. Then he's got these Armor King Thrails. They're, they're no joke either. A lot of dodge, dexterity, toughness. 300 all around. These guys would be awesome in our army. Like, seriously. So, yeah, I'd really like to... I'd really like to take him out. But the more I think about it, the more I realize we're probably going to need more people. I don't think that that's going to be enough. I probably need the whole army if I'm going to pull it off. The shooty squad, though, I'm going to have them wait back here. They can actually man the turrets and defend from attacks. But they're going to wait to get some bolts because I don't have any bolts for them right now. So I think I'll send this group up with Tarkus as well. I'll park them outside here. Let's grab up Tarkus and park him up here. 
and then we'll march these groups back there. It'll be good for them anyways. They they can get the uh, loot. What are you doing, man? Damn it. Okay, let's ha handle this real quick. This should be real simple. Yeah, our guys just, they don't even like hardly hit our guys. We just go through and shred them. Half these dies, guys probably die on impact. Oh, most of them are unconscious. There are some that are dying. But they have no armor, so. All right. Yep, like I said, send Tarkus up and Bjorg. I know if we have both armies with us, we can definitely take the Armor King out. I'm just not confident with the God Squad alone. But I think I definitely want to do it. Like I said, if we do this, then obviously the Armor King will no longer be selling or making armor at the settlement up there, which is fine to me because we're about to take out Blister Hill anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But it would be so cool. I mean, he's a major... You know, major character in the Kenshi universe, and I think it'd be cool to have him in our army. I'm noticing a lot more Holy Nation outlaws walking around in Holy Nation territory. That's pretty cool. I haven't really seen any Holy Nation patrols out here. I had my army sitting in this area for the longest time earlier before I moved them back down to base, and I didn't see like one single Holy Nation patrol. There was only one Holy Nation patrol, actually, that did leave Blister Hill, but I killed him. And then that's been it ever since, so I don't know. Um, I don't know how that is for them right now. I'd like to send somebody back to Okran Shield to see what's going on there. Now that I got rid of that Inquisitor. But Blister Hill, does it have any roaming? It says number of roaming squads, eight. I haven't seen any roaming squads, though. Okay, so Bjorg and Tarkus. I'm going to have to kind of control you guys to get you through here. Um, I probably don't, believe it or not, I probably don't need both groups, but let's just bring them. Probably be the um, Strike Force error would be enough, really, with the God Squad. But you know, if I have the whole army, then I don't have to worry at all. Then I know it'll, it'll be enough. Plus, we'll have lots of medics there and a lot of people to carry the broken skeletons. I'm going to carry them all down to the base. We'll end up recruiting all the Thrails, the Armor King himself, etc., etc. We'll throw them all into the God Squad. And then we'll be ready to assault Blister Hill. It'll be nice because I'll be able to get like a final push of people into the game before, uh, before the final assault. I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do with the Holy Lord Phoenix. thought about turning him into the Flot Sam or the Shek. I might turn him into the Flot Sam just because... If that causes, causes them to get Blister Hill, I think that'd be kind of cool. Or if it just gets destroyed. I don't even know. I, I think it might just get destroyed. I don't think it gets occupied. Uh, Blister Hill. But yeah, I just thought it'd be cool to turn the Holy Lord into the Flot Sam. The Shek have kind of been... Even though we've been helping them out, they've kind of been douches to us. They keep coming to our... Our... Um, base and trying to steal food and such. Let's see. And how are the Shek with me? Do they even... Yeah, they got a faction of 22, so... They seem to like me, but... A little bit. I know you can get, I think, a faction... Relations of 100 if you turn the Holy Lord Phoenix into them, but I'm not 100% sure how that benefits us, or if it even does benefit us. There's one of the Roman groups there, but there's nothing they could do. They're kind of just trapped in the water. They've been there for a while because I saw them previously when I was sending the God Squad up here. All right, I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about here. But actually, I'm going to do something real quick. I'm going to go ahead and pause when I get up here. After it's done loading, it just quickly saved the game because I don't want to end up in the same situation I did last time. Where I'm sending the skeletons through and they get caught inside this building and then I got to redo all this. This is the one they seem to constantly get caught in. 
I've seen him get caught in this one too, but this one's really bad. I usually have to get them around. If I just send them through, they'll like walk right through it and they just get stuck. But that looks like it worked. So. All right, so we've got everybody outside and ready. I'm a little nervous. Uh, <laughs> not entirely sure how well this is going to go. I don't really want Kumo taking part in it. So I'm going to put him off to the side because he'll just fly up. And in an area like this, there's a lot of places for him to get stuck, I feel. So it's just not worth the risk. I think I want the God Squad to take a brunt of the, the fighting. And then the rest of the guys can run in there. I don't know. I'm thinking maybe the God Squad will handle it a little bit better. And I think I want to do all of the fighting inside. I don't want to pull the... Oh, hey, Anara. You're not even... Do animals just walk on the water? I mean, is that... They don't have swimming animations? Because Kumo does the same thing. All right. Either way. Yeah, I don't think I want to fight them out here. I think there's just too much glitchy crap that can happen. And I don't want people getting stuck in the mountain or like stuck inside the buildings. So I think I want to fight them inside. The only problem with fighting them inside, I feel personally, is that, you know, we're going to be fighting everything at once. I assume that most of these things are going to probably attack us all at once anyways so it's not a big deal even if i like attack a security spider out here i'm guessing the rest of them are going to run out i probably can't bait them like i do with the holy nation and stuff uh actually what i would like to do is fight them on the second story i think that would be maybe better or maybe it'd be just as glitchy i don't know if i was to go up here and do all the fighting up here uh that might be more beneficial so why don't we try that? We'll put all of those guys up there. Ugh, there's a big possibility that I'm going to lose a lot of people here. Because these security spiders, they're probably going to one hit our weaker guys and put them into an instant critical state. This this could get really ugly. <laughs> Alright. Uh All right, I guess we'll go ahead and give it a shot and see what happens. I'll probably just attack this Thrail first. Um, I'm going to have my bigger guys do it. My God Squad here. Let's get, uh, let's actually get HK-47 and Atlas, Delta, Big Hoss. Uh, Big Hoss, you're carrying somebody. Let's, let's get, who else is like part of the... I mean, these guys are all really good, but some of them are a little bit better than others. All right, so I only need five or so. Right, there's five. Because once we start this, it, it pretty much is what it is. All right, here we go. I'm kind of hoping that we'll... Uh, We'll just knock this guy down really quick and then it'll it'll all happen fast. Everyone get to safety. Is that the armor king? Oh boy, here it goes. Here it goes. Alright, so this is going to be very hard to kind of narrate what's happening. I'm going to really try to do my best, but it's a mess clearly. Uh, I think that one broken thrall is down. Yep, he's right there. He's rebooting. I'm going to have Delta kidnap him. I want to pick these guys up as I go so they don't get back up and keep trying to fight. Meanwhile, this security spider here already has pretty much killed Artie. Uh, and is trying to kill everybody else. I'm going to grab these guys and have them attack. There's fighting going on downstairs. Uh, just a whole lot of fighting. Aiden is down here. Sandstone's alive still. Uh, no idea where the Armor King is. We've got a security spider too here. Zeno's already dying. So that was very quick. Um, <laughs> where's the Armor King? We've got another security spider here just beating the heck out of people. Uh, Felix and Hazmat standing on the table trying to fight. There's a spider bot here beating people up. Uh, there's somebody down right here. Rotor, he's critical. Um, Pip is dying. See, that's what I'm talking about. I have no idea where the Armor King is. I 
I'm gonna kind of slowly narrate this as we do it. Okay, the Armor King is upstairs. He's trying to fight Nightshade, Yamba, Prophet's up here, Escanor's jumping in. Uh, let's get Clifton in on that. Meanwhile, Big Hoss and a bunch of people trying to kill this guy. Please get this guy. Darren, get on him. Uh, the Armor King is taking these hits like a boss, probably because of his really good armor. Meanwhile, we got another Armor King Thrail here. I'm seeing a lot of people going down. What's happening down here? Are we at least overwhelming? Security spider bleeding. Is there anything that's down right now that's theirs? Because, okay, there's a dead security spider here. Like, straight up dead. So I don't have to loot it, but I could... Okay, they've got AI cores. All right, that one's dead though, so I won't worry about looting it. We've got one that's rebooting here, which I would like to loot. Uh, and Hyper would be perfect for that. So take that and that, just to make sure he's definitely dead. Yep. They're fighting this Armor King's Thrail. There's another Security Spider 2 here, which I'll have Hyper loot. Where'd Hyper go? There he is. There we go, so I don't have to worry about that Security Spider standing up. I'm moving in on this Armor King Thrail. There's a bunch of people over here, but I don't know if they're fighting anything. Why don't we send them over to fight this security bot? Upstairs, the Armor King's still standing. And with great health, he's taking on a bunch of our God Squad members. Uh, in including Viper and Evan, which are not part of the God Squad. But he's holding out well. He's got one Thrail up here giving him a hand. And I know he's got something over here. They're fighting something. I don't know what. Darren's down. He's pretty rough. Eli's dying. Artie is rebooting. Frodo is down. Okay, there's a security spider here that is rebooting. So let's have Atlas kill that thing off. There we go. Don't have to worry about it. Blizmo is crippled. White Dragon is down. HK47 is doing something here. Go fight this guy, HK. Okay, more people coming up the stairs now. Is there a Thrail down here someplace? Artie, Eli, Darren. So I don't see one. There's got to be a Thrail here, though. They were fighting something here a second ago. Socro's here. DeVito's down. Pretty rough. I could swore there was a Thrail right here. What's that? Iron Hands. No, no, fra no Thrail then. Profit's down, though. Delta's got a Thrail. Okay, downstairs, I see people running outside. Or either they, they're running outside or they never came in. So I'll send them inside. I don't think a Nara can come in here, though. We've got more fighting over here. Pip is down. Security spiders. Where are these other Thrails? There's one here. I, how many, I should have counted before I started. I counted the other guys, but I don't think I counted the Thrails. And I want to make sure I get them all. Yikes, D uh, Diesel here lost his right arm. Wamak is down pretty rough. And Moon is rebooting. They're fighting a Thrall here. Which is just beating the hell out of everybody. Ah, here's a Thrall right here that's down. All right, give me... I'm going to gra grab people out of the God Squad. Give me Hexy. Go kidnap this Thrail. Perfect. So there's that guy. I'll start healing people up in a second here. I don't think anybody's injured enough that I got to worry about it. So there's just one more Thrail down here. It's this one right here. He's tough too, but he's gonna go down here. He's taking a pretty, he's taking a really good beating. How about upstairs? Let's head back up. The Armor King's still standing. He's backed into a corner here. Ooh, he's getting pretty rough now. Meanwhile, all the security bots are down. I don't see any more security bots. One more Thrail up here. Uh, trying to fight with the Armor King, but he is also 
getting the crap beat out of him. Dragon is down, rebooting. Blizmo's down. Jamie is down. It's always the, like, weaker guys that are running in trying to fight. They're so eager to participate. They do a great job. Just swarm the enemies with numbers, you know? All right, the last two of the Armor King's units fighting up here at the top. Skeletons are now hostile towards you. Well, that's unfortunate. We are a skeleton, so that that's all right, though. Our, we, we're, we're a different skeleton empire. We don't associate ourselves with the, the old empire anymore. We're the new empire. The third coming of the empire, I think. If I have to, I'll go attack the skeleton. I'll go attack Black Desert City and enslave them all, too. I bet, I, I at this point, I honestly think we could do it. All right, so the Armor King is down. I'll have somebody from the God Squad pick him up. How about um, Zir here? Go capture the Armor King. Perfect, and we've got uh, this Armor King's Thrail. Um, Delta, you've got somebody, don't you? Um, but, and Yamba, I think, has somebody. No, Yamba doesn't. So Yamba, come kidnap this guy. There's still fighting going on. It looks like it's ended, though. A lot of people here running around and healing. There should be another Thrail that's down here someplace. Where is he? Baron's getting help, so nobody's died as far as I know. I'm terrible at keeping track, but yeah, I don't think I saw anybody die. Where's that other thrall? That him right there? Oh, it's Zeno. Somebody gonna help Zeno, Zeno out here? Yep, I'm on it. He must be right here. There's like a pile. Nope, he's over here. Or is that an iron spider that got back up? Or security spider, damn it. Are the other ones dead yet? Dead. Dead and dead. Okay. Definitely want to make sure. Ah, there's that thrill right there. He's got a crippled arm though. He's, okay, he's rebooting. Give me, give me room. Perfect, so we've got him. Okay, I think we've got everybody. This guy is rebooting. I'll have Hyper come and loot him. Or somebody, Hyper, yeah. Just to kill him off. There. Alright. Perfect. Yeah, so what? The, the skeletons don't like us now, huh? You know they do not. Well, we can figure something out with that. I'm not too concerned. Honestly, if they attack us more... It will allow me to capture more of them and keep imprisoning them, but we really won't need that many. The ones that we just got here are going to be enough for us to take Blister Hill. I'm not even concerned. All right, let's get everybody out of here real quick so I can figure out who needs repairs. Um, Strike Force Air. And then the God Squad can do the repairing. I'll put them all downstairs. All right, we have a security spider that just got up. So I guess go ahead and get him. Is this one dead at least? Yeah. Finally. And Hyper happens to be right here. But he's out of trading range. 
There. All right, everybody back outside. God squad up here. Rotor, get outside. A lot of these guys actually didn't have weapons. All right, Eli's back up. That's good. All right, that's everybody upstairs. Let's go ahead and pick up the rest of the group downstairs. It's just Diesel and Zeno. They've been healed. Zeno's just waiting to reboot. And Diesel's pretty rough, so somebody's going to have to pick him up. Um, Rotor, why don't you give Diesel a hand? Nah, Zeno will get up here in a second. All right, nice. A lot of people are pretty injured, but aside from that, we're pretty good. Come on, guys. I don't see any more Thrails on the ground. Just the security spiders. So I think we've got them all, including the Iron King himself, or the Armor King. Yep, no more Thrails. Nice. Hopefully we can recruit them all. If we can't, then I guess we just uh, have them to have them. I'll grab me up real quick, because at this point there's nothing stopping me from looting the ever-loving crap out of this place. So I may as well go ahead and do that. Probably get some good armor for the Blister Hill fight coming up. Uh, any type of specialist grade I'll be happy to take. This stuff I would just sell. Uh, and I really don't need to sell it. I will take this though. Yeah, I wouldn't really do anything with any of this stuff. I do bet that the... Well, I, I'm going to loot this place. I'm going to empty it out. On the stuff. Def, definitely the armor. We're, we're hurting for armor. I got so many med kits I got to trade off. Out of trading range. I'm right here. Oh, what a weird bug. Okay. All right, so this stuff can be traded. This would be good armor for anybody that needs it. Perfect. All right, so I'll go ahead and finish looting this place off camera. Uh, since there's a lot of stuff that needs to be gone through, I'm going to get it all cleaned up really good. I'll take all of our guys back to base, recruit the final group of skeletons, including the Armor King himself, and uh, I'll show them off and get them all named. Except for the Armor King, I'm going to keep his name. Just because... I want to be able to pick him out in a crowd during the war. And then, I think uh, once I get everybody re-geared, everybody's going to have new weapons here soon. We're going to find ourselves stationed outside Blister Hill, and we're going to prepare our assault. So we'll see how it goes. I want to thank you all for joining me. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you next time.